Hey guys, what is up? It is Combo, and welcome back to a brand new Elden Ring video. And I gotta say, guys, these farms are just getting better and better. So today's video, guys, we have a very kind of quick glitch slash exploit, I would say, for a boss, the Blood Lord boss. Where you're, if you kill him, you're gonna get around five hundred thousand runes just for killing him, and he's actually not going to attack you because again, he's going to be glitched out. Now I am currently in the underworld. Um, there's overworld and the underworld and I have made a few videos on this and kind of how to get there I will be going over kind of briefly and how to get there this video I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys do want like kind of a full fleshed out one But hopefully again, I don't want to make this video too long and I want to show you guys how to do this and a lot of you guys probably actually already know how to get here in the first place So now once you guys do start the game There's gonna be an NPC here and you're gonna follow their quest line once you guys follow the quest line, it's going to lead you all the way up to the Rose Church, or that's where you want to go. You're going to meet them there. There's a very nice kind of fallen ruins of the lake. Grace site right here. Go to her at the Rose Church and talk to them. They're going to give you five bloody fingers for the multiplayer. What you're going to have to do is raid three people and then come back. You can raid them real quick. You can fight them if you want to. If not, you just have to go into their world. You can use this uh, finger to get back. Once you guys do that, you're going to talk to them again. They're going to give you a bloody finger. And they're going to give you a cloth that you're going to have to put blood on. So once you guys get that cloth, you're going to want to head up all the way up. Just kind of like a mountain over here. You're going to want to go up here. And we're going to go up here. Once you guys are at the four belfries, at the very top, there's going to be a chest. And you can get a key. Now we want to go to a certain location here and one of these teleporters is actually three in total one in front of me one in the distance and one to my right so we're actually gonna go to this one on the left we're gonna use a key in this kind of like imp statue thing right here and then we're gonna take the teleporter once you arrive at the chapel of anticipation there is gonna be a boss that you're gonna have to defeat nothing really too hard it'll actually be kind of familiar um aka the tutorial boss which probably absolutely destroyed you in the first 30 seconds of the game. Since you guys defeat that boss, you run up to this church. And once you guys are at the church, just go on the front door. There will be a maiden here, and you're going to soak the blood with her cloth. And once you guys have done that, you're going to go back to the Rose Church. You're going to talk to them, and then they're actually, my bad when I said they're going to give you the bloody finger in the past, they're actually going to give you the bloody finger now. Once you get the bloody finger, talk to them again, and you're going to get the medallion. Once you guys have the medallion, then you can teleport all the way to the underworld and this is where we're going to start once you are at the mausoleum you're actually going to spawn kind of right here you're going to go up these stairs make sure you guys get this grace point and then we're going to run up these stairs over here and basically it's just a straight run be careful of these guys because they will grab you if they do aggro on you so kind of just run around them and jump you'll get a little bit of blood loss the good thing about this is you will get some runes too if they are aggro on you about 300 apiece and also, make sure you guys have the Golden Scarab equipped if you want to, and the Golden uh, Pickled Foot, so you guys can get a little bit extra runes from this boss and just in general. I'll actually be making a video on that soon and how you can actually get the Scarab, um, so that will help you guys get a little bit more runes. And what's cool is you're actually going to get the Remembrance of this boss, so you can get their weapons as well. So it is kind of dark, you could use a torch, I kind of know the way a little bit now. This new guy spawns over to my left. We're gonna run over here. We're gonna run kind of to the left of here. Now be careful because this guy is going to follow you. There is some stairs over here. We're gonna go over here to our right, kind of take like a hard right. And then we're gonna sprint up these stairs. Just don't look back, just keep running. Run through this little corridor and there is a grace in front of us. So we're gonna get this grace. I'm going to turn right to go up these stairs. Here's actually a really good farming spot as well. Give you about 2,000 a piece, and that top guy's going to give you about 7,000. We're going to pull this lever here so this can come down. Once this is down, we're going to take this back up. Uh, again, this is a very good farming spot right there, especially for kind of beginner levels. If you just want to just do some basic level up, but this is where you're going to get a lot of runes. So, as you can see, there is like kind of this foggy, misty wall. So what you're gonna do is not gonna be there. You're gonna run in, you're gonna kind of like aggro the boss, and you're gonna die to him. So then you're gonna get this wall here. So whenever you go, you're gonna need to traverse the mist. Now what we're gonna actually need to do a few things because we're gonna jump up on here and we're gonna jump up on that ledge in front of him. So the first thing we do is remove all of our weapons and armor. 
and we're going to need to jump up here. Now again, this is a little bit tricky, so it may take you a few minutes. So we're going to kind of try to jump on this corner over here, but we need to do a little bit of technique. So you need to jump and hold the sprint button. So I'm holding the sprint button, which is circle for me, and then we're going to go turn and run and jump. Now again, you're not going to get every single time, but you can usually get about five minutes. Once you guys get the hang of it, you'll start getting it more consistently. Also, something I want to know is make sure you guys are facing kind of backwards to the wall. So when you turn, you get a little bit more of a like, running head start and try to stay at the edge. And there we go, we did it. Kind of like a little bit of a tip is you want to jump just half a second later than you think you are. Kind of almost when you're about falling in, just get it perfectly kind of at this edge and then you guys will be up. And we can actually see the boss and we're going to quick equip my armor back on and my weapon. So once you guys are in here, you're going to go around here. Now be careful when you go to the door, you could actually kind of like spawn him and it'll be aggroed on you. So just kind of avoid the door. What we're going to do is just run up to the Blood Lord himself. And we're just going to whack him to death. Like, literally. Like, he's not going to attack us or anything. He's just chilling. And as you can see, we can just whack him to death. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get him low here. And yeah, I'm just going to use this. And just get him all the way down. Alright, so we almost have him dead here. From one more hit. And there we go. And you guys will get a bunch of runes and the remembrance. Like, that easy. Great room. And you get the achievement. My goodness. Also, when you guys do defeat him, there is a grace here. And yeah, you're going to get about 500,000 runes, which is absolutely insane. So I kind of just leveled up a few things. I saw 388,000. So I'm just going to throw everything into intelligence, and we're going to get it all the way up to 93. Actually, we're going to throw another one in mind because I need to get that FP up. But yeah, basically intelligence build. I'm at 60 now, which is mental. Actually, I'm at 63 now, which is mental. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like button and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, appreciate all the support. It's Gumble. Catch you guys in the next one.